welcome to my kitchen. Here we are. You know, we're vibing this whole setup. Can we get this thing, bitch? Where is the pants? Because I can't find. All right. We're in our little like <laughs> sweater here. Um, I'm currently in the kitchen. Here we are. Hallelujah. Bob's your uncle. How are you doing? Um, so basically, I'm just going to be, you know, having a mashed potato moment. I know what you're thinking, really, like mashed potato. Basic menu. It may be basic, but with my secret spices of love and plastic that I put into it, I really, you know, had to enrich the flavors of the creamy mashed potato and make all the textures, you know, come together as one. This meal is 100% vegan, so um, anyone that's vegan out there, don't worry, you can make this, which is the whole, you know, good Christopher Lord of Jesus that he gave to us this day of making this holy good spirit food. I am Miss Blake Butler MUA, and here we are making some creamy mashed potato. You won't be going back to any other recipe. Let me just trust and believe that for a second, honey. There was a lot of requests saying that I look like I make good mashed potato. Oh, here we are with a tutorial. And I'm no Martha Stewart, but I am definitely a Gordon Ramsay when it comes to <clears throat> the mashed potato. I'm really good at it. The guide to good mashed potato, you really gotta amp it up in the spices, you know? Even if, you, even if it, a recipe doesn't need any spices, you need to add some random seasoning so you can say that there is some secret, you know, there's like a secret ingredient in there. Otherwise, who wants to make your recipe if there's nothing really special about it? <gasps> I look like, what's the um, Dalmatian girl she, with the 101 Dalmatians and she wore that little fur jacket moment? Training. Bringing back all the vibes. So, in order to peel mashed potato really good, it's good to have a um, potato peeler. Wow. Um, women or men or any gender of non-binary in between. So the ones that use a knife to cut their mashed potato, criminal. You really should be locked up because, ugh, sis. But, you know, oops, you don't. I'm going to get potato starch all over the Gucci bag. Hopefully she scrubs off. Oh, good God. There's our potatoes peeled. Hi, bronzers, and we are back with my two freshly peeled uh, white potatoes. I don't know the actual specific name of what brand these potatoes were, but they were whitewash or some bullshit. Come say hello. Yay! Miss Regina's, come here. You want to sniff the potatoes down? No. We're filling up like an ordinary pan here with just some plain ass all right, so this is about half full. You can't see. All right, so we've got the water starting to boil. Actually, I'm gonna take this off boil. I just realized I don't wanna put it on yet. Oopsies. So I cut my potatoes in a quarter, as shown. So you go like this. So that's a half. Oh, okay. And then I cut just across about four times or so. Pop that in the seawater, in the water, what? In the salt, the salted water, doll. Fuck this potatoes. Ah! Ah! Oh! God, help Quick, me. Oh, where's the kitchen towel? Oh, oh, you're what fucking I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. to the bone. <laughs> okay, um. I'm going to make mashed potato, obviously, with some broccolini and zucchini because skinny. I do have a side dish, which is um, we currently earlier we um, were we crumbed some lamb chops. So my partner is so my partner is coming over tonight, um, and he is not vegan, so I will be making a separate part of his dish. You know, Randy, these wrestlers, they gotta have a good nutrition value. Randy definitely loves to have some chops, so chops. I love zucchini, 
So my diet routine lately at the moment is I don't really eat anything but greens and mash. Um, it's kind of the diet go-to at the moment. Oh. Oh, come on, motherfucker. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Bro, I do not have room on my table for all this shit. I need more space. I need more fucking space. Yuck. I have just gone ahead and oiled and seasoned um, my greens that I'll be roasting. Get popped in the oven at 180 degrees fan force. So we've got the potatoes cooking in the rundown pot. <laughs> Here in my kitchen right now, it is Randy's favorite meal of the week. Now, we have to make dinner for the kids. Ugh. Oh, very impatient you are, Casper. Say hello. Say hello to the camera doll. Come here, Regina. Patience, do you? You have no disregard. Very, very rude. You don't have patience and you need to wait until you're told when you eat doll. You don't just be jumping on the table, eating out of the jar when you please doll. You ask first. So what I'm going to need you to do is to please get down. Thank you, Regina, Casper. Get down. Down, thank you. Down. Down. Get down. Good boy. Very good boy. Daddy's fucking idiot. Yeah. yeah, she's a fucking divvy. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with your bronze shenanigans. Someone just commented that. I mean, look, this isn't a mashed potato moment anymore, but I'm just putting in Randy's chops. Um, so they're cooked for him when he's ready to come home, which is never because he lives in America and's married with six kids. Right, I'm getting hot. I'm getting really fucking hot. You know how to do it with a temperature gap. Yeah? So I'm just going to strain the potatoes. Okay. So we have our milk, cream and butter. Yes, I said cream, that is a secret. I move on, I just wanted to address that. Yes, um, when I recently went to my local um, Pavo supermarket, they only had the black and gold brand left. So um, I am not poor. I just wanted to say that there was the only last one in stock. Same with the butter. Like I don't have, I don't like Flora butter. I like Western Star. I like the good butter. I don't want to be. This isn't even butter. I think this is margarine. This is called buttery. But anyway, um, oh my god, I think this is burning. First things first. What you have to do is you add the butter first. I add about two teaspoons. All right, about one, okay, one and a half, one and a half teaspoon. So what happens is the butter melts in there. So when you mash it together, it becomes more creamy rather than it being so textured. And um, yeah, look, I'm trying to sound like Gordon Ramsay here and trying to think of like cooking like methods and cooking, uh, you know, sayings, but I, I've got nothing. I don't know why you add the butter first. You just add the butter first because you do. So we've just added the butter and it should look something like that, as you do. Is this oh, pepper, we need pepper. We've already done the butter. I don't know how Veronica Wayne does this, honestly. Like this is just too fucking much. So now we're adding the black and gold cream, the pour cream. And I add just about, I'm not sure exactly how much I add. And then mix that all together and you know that it's the back to both worlds. <laughs> We're gonna add a splash of milk. There we go, baby doll. So I'm just mashing that potato all together now. Capiche? We're not making quiche, I said capiche. Like capiche means, do you get it? Like, did you hear me? Capiche, not quiche. I like quiche, but do we like it? No, because it's not really vegan. You have to add eggs and shit in it. All right. Here's the mashed potato. See how it doesn't fall off? That means it's good. You don't want it sloppy and shit because that's when it's like, ugh. 
So we're just going to have a taste test. How long did I sit out for? I feel like I just had fucking ice cream. It's cold. So that's honestly how you make creamy mashed potato. I'm just gonna put that in the microwave because it's cold. And now we are just going to take our sides of some veggies. I mean, these are roasted, so broccoli and zucchini never looks good roasted. But it's healthy, you know, it's full of vitamins, nutrition. Ow, this is hot as fuck. I can't believe I'm using my fingers. Ow, ow. So here is our meal. Oh, okay. I had that pretty. Should we have a taste test moment? Mm-hmm. See, that already tastes Colombian.